we rolling? Yes. Let me know when we're rolling. Rolling. Three years varsity. Ah! My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. And it's the last Weekly Dumb of November. Oh. Because my baby's coming and I'll be gone. And then we'll be back in December. Jake, how goes it? Our baby's coming in December. Get ready. Let us know. We're going to do an end of year weekly dumb awards. Awards! Awards! Hello! And we're doing the whole thing is Mrs. Doubtfire. Double Doubtfire all the time. So leave a comment, your favorite segments from the show, and then we'll just give them the proper awards they deserve on a later episode. Okay, let's do it, Jake. Um Jim, the World Series is going on. We're going to game six. Can you believe it? We're heading back to Houston. The Braves, they kind of had a chance to win, and they didn't, and now it's kind of up in the air, but it's never been up in the air. I can believe it because Trevor Plouffe told everyone, don't put your hand there. Zach specifically I said. I knew it. I pulled it back. Trevor Plouffe said it was going to go to game six, and the Braves will win. Braves in six. Braves, Braves in six. six. Six, 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 six. So good job for Trevor Plouffe. The Braves, though, I mean, some real baseball talk. Charlie Morton got hurt. What I really helped him out in game five, but I still got faith. The games have been a little better. Games four and five have been good, entertaining baseball games. The squirrel on the bump for Houston in game Round six. Round of applause really went away, huh? Some people Did do. all those people just get punched in the face? Yes. Okay. That's the entire sports news. Jim, we're going back to one of your favorite countries you've lived in for almost a breakdown. What's going on? Yeah, top two country I've ever lived in, Australia. A woman is teeing off on the 14th hole, and all of a sudden, an army of kangaroos storm the tee box. And they really do. I mean, it's a lot of kangaroos. If I had to pause the video and count, I would guess it's 37 kangaroos and for a You're while i was wondering where's the leader of this pack and then out of the side of the screen comes king kangaroo the jacked one the leader yeah no one was scared on the golf course you That'd know be a good this australian is... rapper named king kangaroo so that's the breakdown uh eventually they left the late the woman was really calm she was like what's going on yeah she should have teed off no just for fun. That's how you start a war. This was down south. This is Eastern. down southern. This was down southeast Australia. Probably would have been a bunch of emus. And then you got to tee off into them. No. Those things not eat that bullets. again. Can't kill them. Emu war. More sports. More sports. Let's get back to the sports. You got it. Zach, you know we break news here. Huge NFL trade. Von Miller to the Rams. Does that trade the NFC outlook? We're not talking about it here. We never would. Mike Leach talks about candy corn again, and Jimmy is just falling in love with his voice. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm falling in love with how into the shtick he is, but he's playing it so straight. Uh, I had candy corn, and I grew up, and I've tried a lot of candies all night. He's got a great line. They ask him if he would give candy corn a second chance and he's like some like been down that road too many times like it's had all the chances it's ever gonna get that's been carefully researched since i was a child he's like when i was a kid i definitely you know had my moments with it and it got all of my hands and my my fingers but uh or higher points or lower points. as i grow up i've just realized there's a lot of better options in that department than candy corn so follow up from last week mike leach is not giving candy happen. corn a second chance as a bag of candy corn sits right by his hand in that video. That's powerful stuff. And he didn't even look. Didn't even flinch. Because he's a candy guy. Speaking of year-end awards, early candidate for character of the year, it's Ripper. He's back with Canada Dips because they're giving a special offer. Yeah. The John Boy Media Party Pack. 50% off with code HOLIDAY on the John Boy Media Swag Pack. You just put a lot in there. And yeah, Ripper may win Best Character. Best Character of the Weekly Year dumb. is Ripper, the Weekly Dog. He got eat my game. <laughs> Have there been other categories? Characters? Yes. Zach says there's been other characters on Weekly Dumb. But Ripper is a fan favorite. People have been I asking for I didn't finish your show as Ripper. I over-ripped. You over-ripped? Over-ripped. <laughs> Ripper's gone. He's uh, out the building. This feels sad. It feels like Ripper just got told to, like, grow up and get off the docks. He got eaten. Yeah. 
Who had eaten? That's why we have a Freditor. Can we get an editor named Fred? Freditor? Editor? We're not taking applications right now unless your name is Fred and you're an editor. So you can be the office Freditor. Freditor! Jim, there is maybe... Again, we're talking about end of year awards. Something that speaks to both of us, not Zach. Activists host a small dong march to end shaming of tiny penises. Jim, these are some friends of us. I use that in the loosest way possible. We met Chad and JT once. We interviewed them. We talked about uh, juiced up apples. It's the largest apples that uh, the four of us have ever seen. They wondered if they were on steroids. They don't know that they've met us. Yeah. But we know that we've met them because we, we were like, nervous at we the like event. Chad and JT. We dressed dumb at the event. People didn't know who we were. We didn't know who we were. They hosted a small dong march. This is something that they've been like advocating for for a while. Yeah. They were chanting, where was it? Motion of the ocean. Motion of the ocean. Motion of the ocean. Motion of the ocean. My dong is not a choking hazard. That was a sign that said that. That was nice. All dongs are created equal. This is great. I mean, there's a lot of causes in the world. This is uh, at least a relatable cause to a lot of people. And uh, I hope I can find the picture. It was on uh, JT's story, but it was him with his mom, and they were both wearing, like, and small dong shame. And small dong shame. With his mom, which is just a very special moment. Let them know we thank them. There was also a, a bunch of people that saying that attended the meeting in on the joke and, and they said, uh, we're just here as allies. We're actually pretty well endowed. I wish I could support your cause more, but doesn't affect me personally, but I am here to support it. Rooting for you guys. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee. He's great. Not a small dong ally, but not in the small dong. Guy. He's not a small dong ally. No. He's, uh, He's an ally. Trevor Plouffe small dong shames. Yeah. You should hear what he talks, says about you. Non-stop. What does that mean? He's making fun of your small dong all the time. Trevor Plouffe. But he does get employee of the week because as we said, the prediction. I mean, we'll see if it comes true tonight. It's coming. It already came true. Everyone think about how fucking crazy it is if it comes true. The both teams... And the games. It's unbelievable. Also, double ad fest. Chris Rose rotation. Uh, Tyler Glass now is hilarious and awesome. Go watch his episode with Brault. And he goes, dude, what's the math on that? He's Check like, okay, out. there's two. So there's two out of 30 teams. Yeah. And he thinks like that's the start of it. It's like, dude. I like, said it. I don't know who I was talking to. I, mean, I said I've, I've never related to Glass now more. Yeah. Just trying to do math that like he didn't realize he you can't do wasn't that. Wasn't in the ballpark and thought he was yeah. someone tweeted at me and said that it's a 0.009 percent uh chance to get it correct if all 30 teams are created equal so right. there's some that are guaranteed to not be in the world right. series so then Take you change the it Orioles. so i have no idea but good luck to trev life-changing stuff come on baby you know how like whenever like bagel boss made a big scene and then the porn the porn sites always like offer them a deal because they want to be part of the viral. DraftKings should like offer Trev like porn deals, money for his next prediction next March 31st. Like it should be a sponsored event. Okay. He should wear a big brain hat we'll and like that. it should be like, okay, here's he got. Trev will hate it because there's so much pressure. He'll like it. He's going to like overthink it for so oh, long. Oh, so much. Congrats, Trev, employee of the week. Punks a Tony Phil, Trev. Pees all over our hands as we handle him. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of The Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Canna Dips. Our Redwood Outlaw buddies from Humboldt County make the best CBD delivery system known to man and want to give you a killer deal so you can hook up a friend or loved one this holiday season. 50% off the John Boy Cali swag pack. That's the sample roll of their five core flavors plus a badass hat for $30 instead of $60. Head to their website and use promo code HOLIDAY. Give your best buddy this Christmas a can of mango, citrus, mint, wintergreen, and spice with an embroidered lid, all for only 30 bucks. CBD pouches, all natural, spitless, and are great to use whenever and wherever. Whenever, wherever. No tobacco, no nicotine, full flavor experience designed for your enjoyment. This offer is so dumb, you can't turn it down.
Would you rather tee off in Florida and mm. a gang of alligators storm right. the tee box or Australia and it's kangaroos? I think I'm going... Or Maine and it's deer. Or Vermont and it's one moose. Deer seem kind of friendly and cordial about it and they're pretty scared of me. Uh, but kangaroos and gators, that seems like the real story here. I would go kangaroos because I think gators would eat me. I think kangaroos, they just pummel me to death. Hop on you. I don't want to get brains. eaten. I've touched a kangaroo. Many. Many kangaroos, yeah. Koala Park. Many kangaroos? Many kangaroos. It sounded like you said Manny, like that was the name of the kangaroo. Could probably touch a kangaroo named Manny. It's a common name for kangaroos. 